up y'all it's your girl miss finesse in the flesh coming to y'all live and direct what is up how y'all been what's good the reason why i'm bringing y'all this video is because once again it's my favorite time of the year fall yes it is fall fall is my favorite time of the year i love the cool weather coming back i love the stylings the scarves the jackets the boots the jeans the cardigans the hats the beanies I can go on don't know why I'm talking like this like I'm from Brooklyn or something <laughs> Brooklyn girls don't kill me but with fall coming school back in session it comes to homecoming season now I as an undergrad went to an HBCU historically black college or university yes I've been to many HBCU homecomings and they were what's the word um okay Google what's the word that I'm looking for they're lit 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 litty lit 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 it's lit i'm just excited because now this time because me coming back to homecoming this year is like i'm an official alum like i'm officially an alum i mean yes i was an alum when i graduated but i still know people at Dell state you know what i'm saying i still know people at my undergrad where i could kick it you know things of that nature i can't say with nobody on campus no more don't nobody that i went to classes with still go to Dell state hopefully honestly truly but no, so this is like my first year being like an official alum and I'm like so hyped for it. Let me just explain to you why HBCU homecomings are just lit. One of the main reasons people are so hyped for homecoming is for the football game. Honestly, truly, for real, for real, I could care less who wins. I mean, I always want the home team to win. Of course, I want the home team to win. But I really not into football like that. <laughs> But I do appreciate when the band comes on the field. Okay, and not just the home team band, when both bands come on, because you know it's finna uh, go down. So you don't just have bands coming out like I've seen at PWR institutions or other schools coming out. No, you see HBU bands come out. You see them going in. Hey, 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 hey. Flag girls going. Got the cheerleader going. And you know cheerleaders. Drum major come out there with the whistle. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. And he goes and do some fancy stuff. <laughs> this is a production, bruh. So also at the football game, you get to see all the old, 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 old alum that came years and years before you coming out in all their school nailia. They'll have nailia from the time they set foot on campus to now just this full blown. It's just a hype experience that you get to come back here every year and just celebrate just being proud of the school that you came from. Also, with the HBCU homecoming, you also have When the Plots Are Live. I know any and everybody who goes to HBCU can identify that the plots are lit before the game, after the game. That's what everybody communes. And everybody just has a great time. You know, everybody, there's food, there's family. You see the little babies. You see the old, like I said, the old heads. You see the kids who are currently there. The music is going. Song train lines are going. People just having it. It is just one of the best feelings that you're just among so much black excellence. Oh, amazing. Amazing. For like the undergraduates more so, you had the concert, the fashion, I don't know about y'all, but an HBCU homecoming fashion show is like top model mixed with NY Fashion Week mixed with a Nicki Minaj music video. It's like so lit. The outfits be bomb and you know everybody. And one of the greatest parts of a HBCU homecoming. <laughs> The step show is one of the pinnacle moments for not only Greek, like for not for the school, because it's like you see these fraternities and sororities, you know, they do their thing on campus. They're scholars, they're leaders, they're all over campus. You don't know what's been done, you don't know the theme, you don't know where they're getting their props from, you don't know who will be in it, but you know that it will be the word of the day. That's what's gonna win the step show this year. So if you've never been to an HBCU homecoming, I strongly encourage that you do you're gonna have the time of your life i can't accurately describe just how lit these functions are you just have to go if you've never been to an hbcu homecoming nobody because i've been to several 
Dell State, Morgan, Bowie, Howard. Um, I should be going to Jiho this year. That's known as the greatest homecoming on earth. There's been the several homecomings at an HBCU and there's never, I've never not felt the same vibe. I've never not felt like a, a sense of family. I've never not felt a sense of community. I've never not felt a sense of it's turn. You know what I'm saying? So if you've never been, I highly encourage you to go. We just lit. And then, as always, please share this video if you can relate to what I'm talking about and to somebody who can't relate. Share it twice. Also, subscribe to the channel. Videos every week. I know I missed last week, but it's my birthday. <laughs> anyway, and then comment below what you like about being at an HBCU. And actually, comment below if you want to a PWI homecoming, because like I said, don't know much about that from what I've been told. And ain't nothing special. But if it is, you let me know. And as always, give this video a thumbs up, please. Just, you know, just give it a thumbs up if you agree with what I'm saying, because I know you agree with what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll see y'all next video. Oh, also, a uh, quick RP to Shardy Lowe. You know, he died last week, and it's a little tribute to him. Here we go.